Hello and welcome back to our Tectasagia campaign. Uh, having just loaded in the uh, the game, obviously it's a brand new recording session, I just noticed here, apparently I'm making 42,000 ducats a month. Oh how I wish that was true, all my problems would be over. But yeah, we, uh, we just finished this war, we didn't get as much as we really hoped for, just a couple of one province, one, one territory minor I guess they are now. Um, one territory minor tributaries, which is actually helping quite a bit. I my monthly balance is less than what I get from tributaries, so clearly it was a good decision. So uh, yeah, we'll see where we go from here. Uh, one thing I do need to do though is open this all up. Uh, one thing I do need to do is find a way to get at war with Pontus eventually. Um, you want fish? No. Oh. Another thing that I was told that I had completely missed, the last tradition in a tree is actually free. So I can just straight up take this, I believe. Uh, but first I'm going to take, I think it's this one is the one I want. You know what, I am, now that I've got this mod on to increase the, the, to make the UI look a bit better, I'm actually going to increase the size of the UI. Oh god, not that much. Uh, yeah, that looks fine. Right, so... Back to the military. Do I want to start down here? What have we got? Some light cav cost would be nice. I believe I've got some light infantry. Um, there's heavy infantry defense here. Wrong culture happiness would be fantastic. Heavy infantry... Offense, spell wrong. Uh, siege ability, mile of armor. Yeah, this this route is definitely the one we want to go down. So I'm going to grab this. And I'm going to grab. I think I already have this, or I think it just automatically takes it, maybe. Because I can't click on this. So yeah, apparently it just automatically took this. Like have discipline plus ten percent is beautiful. It's absolutely fantastic. Right, let's get our guys back where they need to be. So, dismiss you, and I want you to be a regional army. Um, Carthage wants my fish, no. Thrace wants my grain, also solid amounts of no. Uh, dismiss you, and this is also going to be a regional army. I'm gonna piss off those characters, but I don't care. Uh, you're gonna die eventually. We've got 9.56 health left, and it's going down 0.02 a month. Someone can do the math, I'm not going to do it. Alright, having a look here. Increasing in loyalty, decreasing in loyalty, and decreasing in loyalty. But they're really close to being there. Matter of centralization. We want to just do natural centralization, I think. War exhaustion coming down, aggressive expansion coming down. These are both going to help my uh, loyalty problems. I just need to get this area loyal and solid and not going to explode. And after that, I think we're going to be in a really good position to push south and form Galatia and then see where we go from there. It's been an interesting campaign so far. I... Uh, Definitely have made some mistakes, but overall, it's not been too bad. All of these are still retinues. I hope you need to move so you don't get attritioned to death. There we go. Yeah, the, <laughs> what a weird army. Uh, we have a Forna, sure. Don't care about the Suns. There we go. Yeah, three disloyal birth. Like those Bithany Superior and Inferior are really close to being loyal. Might be because I am trying to convert them. If I made them happy with some autonomy reduction, um, that would help. 27.5% happiness on all provinces would be really nice for sure. Hmm. A message has been. A message has been from our arbitrator. That is not good English. Uh, loopholes increase our treasury. Alright, so I could get a lot of money for some corruption. Political influence for some corruption. Or refuse to partake in the corruption. 
To lose corruption. That sounds great. Losing corruption is a fantastic idea. What's your corruption like? 23. I would very much like you to not have 23. We could impose corruption sanctions. That's only 23 corruption. Yes, I'm going to do that. Get rid of your corruption and I'm going to grant you a holding to say sorry. Now you're back up to 80-something loyalty. 87 loyalty. Should be. Lovely. That means you are now becoming loyal. You are becoming loyal faster, and you are also becoming loyal. Yeah, just uh, keeping him happy is good. Happy and uncorrupt. Incorrupt. Non-corruptioned. Something like that. These are also helping with loyalty as well, so... It's going to take a while, but we're going to get there. Embolos is the one that's really struggling for loyalty right now. Which is where? What is there? It is. What is wrong with Embolos? Probably everything. You hate that the governor is the wrong religion and culture, that, that, that we are a tribe, and you don't like our aggressive expansion. There's literally nothing I can do about almost any of that. Uh, local tensions. Uh, Bithynia gains 10 loyalty. Culture of uh, one, two, three, four, five pops to Volke, but then gives me unrest in every single um, territory, which would suck. But I could lose the unrest. Bithynian gets stunted growth, but that's fine. I'm entirely okay with this. Defend the right of the locals. Should help the loyalty. Oh, look at that. It's now got two arrows. That's that's more than one arrow. Unfortunately, you're going down again because of Bithynian. Two unrest in Bithynian. From stunted growth. When does stunted growth end? Uh, 54. Wow, 11 years. That sucks. It's purely down to Bithynian that the loyalty is going down. Ugh, sadness. Sadness eternal. All right, well, at least we're getting most of our situation sorted. Look at our nation overview. Loyalty is coming up. Need to get it there. Gathering population, gain some centralization, lose political influence, get a little bit of unrest in Ornoy, and some taxes, gain zero centralization, or lose centralization to lose unrest. I am going to do the one that gives me nothing at all. We're just going to let the centralization go on its own. We have a look at our laws, actually. No extra laws that we can do right now. I'd almost consider doing this one if it wouldn't kill my centralization. Someone died of dysentery. Sucks for him. You're taking attrition. Why are you taking attrition? Where can you stand? So you, you guys can swap. Fix that situation. Omen, I would like some... Civilization change? That might be a good idea, but happiness is also kind of important, so we're going to go with happiness. But now that we've got a few more happy pops, you're... Still sad. You're still super sad, but you're getting better. It changes over the monthly tick. Mm, not so much. Maybe a little. Still got no inventions whatsoever. That's that's the real painful part. Thankfully, he's only got plus 0.5 morale of armies. Which is still too much, but, you know... Better than nothing. Uh, let us have a look in the diplomacy. There it is. And we want to have a look for... That's not how I want to do it. Is it in the ledger I need? A sort by region. No, sort by country rank. I am the blue one, so I can only ally with blue. We could ally with Sarmatia, Olbia. Olbia might be a decent one. Thrace and Colchis, I think I'm already allied with Colchis. No, I'm not, but I will be. 
There we go. Alliance with Colchis, although as soon as he finishes his revolt, then that's no longer going to be the case. How many more alliance slots have I got? We have... Where's, where, where, where am I seeing this? Three of three. We have no more alliance slots. Versus in Chios. Interesting. Yes, please fall away from Phrygia. That would be grand. Phrygia has 220. Good lord. That's a lot. I'm just sad I didn't manage to get all of these Volke hops over into uh, Galatia. Temple collapses. We could fix the temple for some unrest reduction. I gain some popularity, which would be fantastic. Or I could gain lots of popularity, spend a lot of money, um, and I just gain an extra temple. Yeah, I'm going to do that. An extra temple in Byzantium would be quite nice. Temples give you pop conversion speed. And uh, yeah, we need we need more conversion going on in uh, in here. Forty four percent are uh, the wrong religion, so we will fix that. Thankfully, in uh, Byzantium, the capital, I am the primary culture and the primary religion, so conversions and uh, assimilations are going way faster than they otherwise would. Fish and fish and vegetables. Nope. Yeah, really one, one thing that um, Imperator really needs is the ability to say, I don't want to export um, goods of this type, and this type being food. I guess you could also say, I don't, don't want to export um, strategic goods. That'd be another one that I would like to do. Uh, you could even do it like on a, on a good by good basis. If this screen had a list of all the goods and you could say, if I clicked on this fish, it would make an X, and it's like, oh, you can no longer export fish, blah, blah, blah. You can even automate it, say, I want this, so import this whenever possible. Like, just do it automatically. That would be great. Stop asking for my fish, good lord. Stop. Stop. I said stop. All right, so if I was to attack you, Phrygia Epicaptus... Pontus Colopatine, which is where? That's you. And Cappadocia, Gaussera, that one. Same here? Yes. Amisos would probably help me. Or not. War Exhaustion, Low Manpower, Thrace. War Exhaustion, Low Manpower. Ultras, Civil War, War Exhaustion, No Manpower. So it's not going to happen soon. But we also do want to fabricate a claim on them. The province of Galatia, of course, needs to be ours. Uh, excellent land management. Oh, that's the lovely food one, isn't it? I will pay to send scribes to the entire nation. Now, which one is the province of Galatia? There we go. The biggest city in the province of Galatia is Pessinus. Clearly, this must be our capital. It is plains, which is good. I mean, it's it's no... I mean, it's forest there, actually. Plains is okay. What you want is, like, a farmland. But yeah, plains is okay. Um, mostly tribesmen, Zoroastrian, Sibylline, some Hellenics, Persian, Hellenic. Yeah, we'll be able to take this fairly nicely. Training camps, tax office, temple, foundry, marketplace. We'd, we'd have to get rid of some of this. It's running out of food, which is good. Uh, ooh, Comet Sighted. I love this event. A terrifying thunderclap over the skies of Byzantium last night heralded a terrifying, awe-inspiring sight. The very fabric of creation seemed rent asunder by flame and smoke, as if by Tyrannus himself. People cowered in their homes, seeking to avoid the certainty of imminent wrath of the divine. Almost as soon as this manifestation had appeared, however, it crept away over the horizon, seeming to settle in the territory of our neighbour, Heraclea Pontica. In haste, the resident expert in matters of faith was summoned to explain this mystery. According to Synodix, this event can only be a message sent by Tyrannus, intended to legitimise our position as the chosen people. Synodix insists that Tyrannus must have made a minor miscalculation when he sent this message into the lands of our Heraclea Pontican neighbours, and that we must do all in our power to possess the city of Bonita, where the divine communique must have landed. So 10 stability, and I need to take 
Bonita, which is my tributary, which is, is not great, because that means I'm going to have to cancel it and then attack him, which is uh, a bit of a pain in the dick, but whatever. Oh, do I really want this land? Like, how badly do I want this land? I mean, I, I don't want this land, but how badly do I want the event? If only it was here. <laughs> that would be so much better. Bonita, give give me your land. Can I even uh, enforce like a any kind of trip? Uh, not tributary. The other one. I want to make him a subject, a proper subject, but I don't think I can. It is a shame to be sure. All right, let's uh, retrofit our navy. Build a navy. I want five Liburnians, one Tetra, one Hexair. Three, four, five. Get that one, and I don't have 15 ducats left. But we'll get that soon enough. One more month. A feud. Two of our tribesmen have come forward today asking for help to settle ownership over gold crown they found. Uh, clearly... This is, uh, it belongs to the gods. They're gonna say no to free stability. 70 stability is great. Uh, I think also I'm going to stab a pig as it is quite cheap. Make that stability stay up a little bit longer for cheaper. Three tyranny to in invoke devotio. And I'll pass on that one. Two ducats a month is quite nice income for me. My commerce income is absolute trash, and I'm missing so many inventions that increase income. So it's not really any wonder that I am so far behind. Looked like Bithynian was the capital there, because I had the fort surrounding it. But it is not. It is not. Still doesn't have the claim on uh, Pontus. Disloyal provinces are all increasing in loyalty. Beautiful. We just need you to stop being corrupt, you bastard. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it again, and I'm gonna rent him another holding. There we go. He can take five holdings, so I'm just gonna keep doing it. Liberation. Two Bithynian slaves. Sorry, a Bithynian and a Messian slave become freemen. Or I could say no, but I lose popularity, which is bad. So I'm going to gain that popularity. You want fish? Nope. Actually, one thing I do want to check is my popularity going down. It is because of war exhaustion. I need more popularity. Um, one thing I can do with that is hold some games, but I don't have the money. Can you hold games yourself? No. Shame, 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 shame. Well, I guess we're just going to wait on this claim, which is... Yeah, it's, it's going. It's going 3% a month, roughly. Just need to make sure that when we do take this land, we're not going to immediately explode into a thousand tiny pieces. Uh, provinces map mode. No, region map mode is what I want. Thankfully, it is all in a new region as well, so it's not all going to be going to the same, uh, this guy, Carvinius Iacos. Excellent conditions in Bithynian. Good. What do I want? Do I want money? I don't want him to lose loyalty. Gaining loyalty is good. Sorry, gaining prominence, I guess, is good. Uh, slave output and slave happiness, and then I'd lose some political influence. I'm okay with that. Uh, governor gains loyalty. Very nice. He gains a little bit of money. Slave output, slave happiness, massive amounts, and I gain some money. I'm going to take that one. That sounds good to me. Rome wants fish. How about no? Rome and Carthage keep going at it. I love it. They're, they're both pretty strong. We have a claim on Galatia. If we were to attack, Amisos would help. Thrace and Colchis would not. Colchis is almost out of its um, civil war. And it would not make them a bigger power if they, when they win. So 
Cold Chisium Revolt only has 11, they have 82. Math is pretty easy. Even I can do it. Research ratio is trash. Hopefully it goes up a bit. Nope, it's uh, going down. It's, it's going down, fuck. More tribesmen happiness. These are so close to being loyal. Well, you're not, but so close. Heracleotus is going to be loyal. It's going to be great. Going to be fantastic. Uh, you want vegetables? How about no? Have we got any provinces? That's not what I want to do. Have we got any provinces that are overpopulated? Oh, good lord. Uh, yes, we have overpopulation here. Um, we could build an aqueduct, which we can't because reasons? Ah, uh, because you need 30 civilization value. That's one thing we need to do. More civilization value in Byzantium. Thrace wants me to help them against the Thracian revolt, sure. Though I will keep my economy as it is. If I had lots of money, I would do lower taxes. Yeah, I will keep it as it is, and I will bring just my vassals over to help out. Um, but that will come in another episode, because for right now, I am going to take a short break here. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.